Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Uh, my name is Jada and wel welcome to my channel Jada Clark's Art. Um, today I am going to be uh, painting this lionfish and while I do that I'm going to be talking about something that has um, been bothering me. It's kind of a personal problem but I feel like it's something that many artists probably have gone through at some point in their life um but before i jump into that let me just uh give you a, a little bit of information about this piece it's an eight by ten on stretch canvas and i used a newer brand of acrylics that i have not tried before because they're expensive it's the Liquitex Professional Heavy Body uh, Acrylic, if you've seen them before, uh, they're at Michael's. And I think they're the most expensive brand they have. Um, I'll do a more thorough video about these and other products I recently bought uh, at Michael's. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I bought, I got a deal. I got a, I used a 40% off coupon and just bought the the six set which was originally like 49.99 so after tax it was like 32 dollars with the coupon so not bad love coupons but anywho uh let me just uh jump right into it so what I've been experiencing is a loss of creativity. Now, what I mean by that is that I'm not at the point creatively that I want to be. As you can see from this video, and if you watched any previous videos, I paint mostly coastal things. And I love painting coastal things. I... I love nature, I love animals, I love bright colors, but I want to do more than that. Um, uh, you might notice from this video and my Instagram and other videos, all the backgrounds are really simple. Just pretty much one solid color. I, I need to challenge myself more and do more elaborate backgrounds. But my main issue is that um, when I was about 12 years old, I discovered the work of Josephine Wall. Now, if you're not familiar with her, um, I'll leave a link down in the description of a video I did of one of her newest books that features um, a lot of her great artwork. It's, if you like fantasy and surrealism, you'll love her work. I think she's, like, the greatest artist on the planet right now. So, so amazing. But, yeah, when I was 12, I saw a, a different book of hers in a shop. And I fell in love. Like, uh, <laughs> I probably fell in love with that book more than I've ever fell in love with any person. <laughs> like, that artwork is just... So captivating and I knew from that moment that I wanted to paint like that maybe not exactly like that but yeah I wanted to be that skillful and that creative and that imaginative I um, looking at one of her paintings is like looking into another world in every single one of her pieces and that's the kind of thing that I I've wanted to create for the longest time um, and I used to keep a journal writing down my own ideas that are similar but were still my own ideas that um, I wanted to make into paintings but of course at that time I didn't know how to paint at all so I kept the ideas in a journal but unfortunately I don't have that journal anymore no idea what happened to it it's it's been lost or thrown away i don't know recently bought a new journal so i'm gonna be putting ideas into that one but i hate that i lost all those old ideas 
So, yeah, my dilemma is that I don't have as many of those ideas, and um, I'm not uh, quite skilled enough to really incorporate those ideas. So right now, I'm, I've been solely focusing on, like, doing a simple coastal-related thing, usually an animal of some sort. A fish, octopus, a bird, whatever. And then just have that as a big, the focal point. But, you know, I want to do more than that. But for me, like, there's there's kind of this dilemma of you want to stay in your niche. Otherwise, um, customers will get confusing because I also want to sell my work, obviously. So if I do too much of different things, um, it, it just won't look very appealing to customers. Like if you watch a lot of um, like artist tip or artist advice videos on YouTube, that's one of the main advice is to like have like your own pretty much the same subject matters, like stay consistent. So, so my idea is to, whoops, I dropped something. Um, I don't know if y'all heard that. Um, my idea is to start painting mermaids, because that's still related to coastal things. I think it would fit in really well with my other paintings, and I could do a lot of different things with mermaids. So... Soon I'm going to start painting mermaids. I'm not exactly sure when. Oh, and I probably won't do a time lapse of the first one. Because the first one's probably going to suck. I've really never painted a mermaid. I mean, I have, but not... Not one that I, like, really tried at. Like, it was, like... I painted mermaids that I just worked on for, like, an hour. And sold them for, like, $10. The very super super simple ones, so I don't really like, I don't count those, but yeah, so I'm gonna do mermaids, and I'm hoping like working on mermaids will help me get out of my creative rut. Um, so what about you guys? Have you ever had this issue? If so, um, what do you do to get out of this creative rut? Um, you have any advice for me or any any other artists out there let me know in the comments down below and without further ado I'm gonna end this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you are interested in this lionfish it'll be up for sale on Etsy I'll leave a link down below and also, if you want to see more pictures of this work and others, check me out on Instagram. And I will see you next week. Bye.